Mike Bailey. Another row hickory shad. One of the river rats of Fletcher's Cove. Hey, I got one. <laughs> These fish fed the colonists, the natives, and armies in, during the Civil War. It's a chilly, rainy day in April, and hard to imagine that this wild place has caught a lot of shad. Not today. With its characters. Its century old boathouse, snack bar, and tackle shop is in the heart of a major world capital just four miles from the White House. So the weather's turned kind of ugly, and maybe this is time to take a moment to talk about the ugly side of Fletcher's, unfortunately, which is this. Where I'm standing right now, this is all life choking sediment and mud, like the dock over there. I mean, it's extended out over dry ground. That used to be water underneath yeah. that. That's my biggest concern is the sedimentation that's going to choke off access to what has been accessible for centuries, centuries, way before us. Mike and Chris Wood, the CEO of Trout Unlimited, a national conservation organization, explained a riverside dump for rubble generated nearly 60 years ago from a sewer project became a dam that fundamentally changed the river. The river used to naturally cut through here and flush the cove out. Now what happens is the river comes in, the water gets really high, and it just drops the sediment. And it never flushes out. The river has lost its natural ability to flush out the cove. And we're slowly losing access to this resource. A photo from the 1950s before the change shows the cove full of water. By 2007, with flood channels blocked, the cove was filled in. Fletcher's Cove has been dredged twice with only temporary relief. Some of the time, it looks like this. This is all mud and it used to be water. John Knoll is with the National Park Service. The level of flash flooding and such that we have now, the, the, um, the strength of those storms, um, we have those more frequently now than we've ever had. Climate change? Well, it certainly keeps me up at night. Jeff Seltzer of DC's Department of Energy and Environment says any engineering solution here will have to not only solve the problems of the past, but be able to withstand climate change in the future. It's great to be here. At a season kickoff event budget. this spring, DC oh, Representative great. Eleanor Holmes Norton brought hope. Saving Fletcher's Cove is one of my biggest priorities. We're trying to find funding now to remove some of the sediment that we see behind us, but also study to understand the impacts of the river and how we might develop a long-term solution. Our job as a nation is to help to make these natural systems more resilient to the effects of a changing climate. I just hope we can maintain access to it here at Fletcher's Cove. At Fletcher's Cove in Northwest Washington, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.